that they want this martial law to pop off. That's what they really want. They're trying to find any kind of way to cause an uproar to have a situation with martial law. You know what I'm saying? Sound like a military helicopter around here. You know what I'm saying? I just I didn't see them fly through here, man. They're not really supposed to be flying through civilian air, you know, civilian space. But you know, they just practicing their martial law drills and stuff, man. You know. Well, you know, back in July 2014, uh, Obama was given the authority to issue martial law. Right. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's FEMA camps even here. I seen one off of Harden Street, and it's another I seen out there in uh, Avon. You know what I'm saying? A big old abandoned warehouse, but you got security gates around it, and you got the lights on, but it's an abandoned warehouse. Yeah. Come on now, you know. We for real now. You think we that damn dumb? We don't know what's so, going so on. Yeah, go ahead, bro. The way y'all preaching, like, the way y'all are. And y'all are not concerned about, like, just trying to live every day without without being. In other words, you know they, they control a lot of stuff. Right, right. right. So, like, work, money, stuff like that. Right. Yeah. The Lord got yeah, us, yeah, man. Yeah, we trust the most high. We have right. faith in them. We don't care about what they can't do nothing. Unless you allow it. And if you allow it, yeah. So be it. That's just how we feel. We're still going to push this word. Because see, when we come out here, we really like Romans 12 and 1 said, we offering our body up as a living sacrifice. So whatever goes on, that's what goes on. If somebody want to come by and throw a rock at us, or we get on a job and the boss be like, you know, I seen you out there preaching the Bible and I don't like it. You're fired. Well, so be it. But he's going to be destroyed. Best believe the Lord is going to destroy him. Why? Because he's coming against his king. See, when anytime you come out here and preach the word, even in your home, you ain't came out here on the highways yet, but you still, you starting preaching the word, and if people come against you, the Lord is going to destroy them. Why? Because the Lord has put his word in your mouth to speak to them, and they coming against you. So the Lord is still going to destroy them. You know what I'm saying? So we're not worried about this world, man. The Lord finna destroy this place. Anyway, right. Everybody finna be poor pretty soon. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it don't matter, you know? Right. Everybody finna be poor. But the Lord is gonna take care of his men. Like he said in his word. He's gonna take care of his men. You may not think you have something to eat, but when one day you can wake up and the Lord have your refrigerator full of food. Where that's come from? That's the Lord. If he could rain meat from the sky and bread from the sky, you think he can't fill your refrigerator up without you going to the store? See what I'm saying? So we, we trust in the Lord, man. That's right, All right man. man. Hey, make sure you come back down here, bro. You know, we're all willing, you know. Right. Now, if you come back next Saturday, you know what I'm saying? You know, because see, the thing about it is, you know, it's close time. You know, we got to be circumspect. You know, not saying anything bad about you, but if you come next time, Lord, no, we will and we'll exchange numbers. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Because we give numbers out and folks don't call us back and all that. So we was like, okay, well, if he come back next time, then we know we're real serious and, you know, we'll break bread. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. All right, man. All right, tell him one, bro. You know, that's our job to teach our people. That's just... This, this the whole idea. This, this the whole enchilada, like they say, you know? <laughs> Shoot. Yeah. That's right, man. Right. Got you, bro. I got my brother, bro. So he got paid, so he be out here next time. Good. 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 Guess we're going to get ready to wrap it up, man, you know? First of all, we want to give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah Brakatah. Double honor to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone. And much love, peace, and blessing to all you elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. You got anything to say, bro? Yeah, the brother, keep pushing that word. Just keep pushing. That's right. Right. That's it. And with that, we're going to say death to America. Quam Yasha Allah and Quam Bukha. With that, Shalom.